Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to purge yourself from the internet. Now, of course, it's never 100% possible to completely eliminate your online identity from the internet, but there are actually some good steps and methods you could take to get yourself off the internet and prevent people from doxing you or finding out information about you. We're going to be talking about how to do that in this video. Now, one of the reasons I was kind of inspired to make a video about this was because NordVPN actually did a research survey showing that over half of Americans, around 55% of Americans, would delete themselves from the internet if they could. 47% of Americans say they don't trust the internet, 46% said they have no reason to have their name on the internet, and 42% said they fear that someone is eventually going to hack them. Somewhat even further still, 18% said they wish there wasn't an internet, and 8% said they don't use the internet. Probably grandma, right? Now NordVPN went ahead to survey consumers, and they found that a lot of people didn't want information on the internet, stuff like embarrassing moments, old dating social media profiles, unflattering photos, and previous employment history. Now NordVPN listed some other tools to kind of prevent stuff from being on the internet as much, like just sharing less and using common sense and stuff like that, but I think that's already stuff people are doing nowadays. If you look at Instagram, you could probably see that most of your friends don't post in the same way they, they used to. They're used to using Instagram stories or clips that aren't as like staying on Instagram as much. People are generally a little bit more conservative about sharing information, which is probably a good thing. You can also do other things like use a VPN, for example. VPNs are great for blocking ads, uh, hiding your IP address and stuff like that. But overall, VPNs, in terms of their use case, it's more of like an active way to kind of anonymize yourself from internet service provider more so than like other people on the internet necessarily, at least in my opinion. But I think a lot of people are perhaps more concerned what damage is already done, what is already on the internet, what if they've posted stuff and people could find them from that stuff. Maybe you posted a picture on your Instagram and maybe you had the same Instagram as you did on Reddit and maybe you left a comment that some Reddit user didn't like and then they found you and found out who you were, they found your name and then they looked at white pages and were able to find your address and then they started harassing you and posting your address around on internet forums to get other people to harass you. This happens all the time. So what can you do to prevent some of that from happening at least? Well, you need to remove key components of your online identity from the internet. And this is done by removing stuff from data brokers. Now, I've already made a couple videos about recommending this specific tool that I have in mind, but this is a tool that I think a lot of people still aren't using. I've looked and seen that some people on the channel are using this tool, uh, signing up with my link and getting a good discount as well with my promo code, but a lot of you still have it, which means that most of you still have your information in the hands of data brokers. Now, the simplest method is just going to each data broker and requesting them to remove your information. However, this becomes less simple when you realize there's thousands of data brokers out there when your information and it would be a full-time job to constantly monitor them and get your information removed. Now, there are some other services out there and different services available to get this done. Some are even as expensive as $1,000 a year and it's sort of like hiring a private detective or something like that to monitor your online stuff to protect you. And there are even other services out there like Delete Me that I've checked out in the past, but I still believe a lot of these services are too expensive. Delete Me, for example, only lets you pay annually, which means it's gonna be very expensive since there's only one pricing plan. That said, my favorite tool or data removal tool is something called datasealed.io. Now, datasealed.io, you could choose to pay either annually $100, which is cheaper than um, Delete Me, and you could pay monthly as well if you do want it. Now, what exactly does Dataseal do? Well, it pretty much goes to all these data brokers and requests the information to be removed. They'll do this every month for you and send you emails as well to let you know what data has been removed to help you stay more anonymous on the internet. 
Basically, it will remove your information from data brokers like White Pages and all those annoying websites, which host your real life information and make it easy for people to find you online, like I previously mentioned. So, guys, if you are interested in checking out DataSeal.io, you could use code TomSpark5. This should give you a discount on the website, and also use my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment to check them out and it'll help support the channel. Data Seal didn't pay me to make this video. I just really like it and it's actually a product I use myself so I could vouch for it 100%. Starting out with a data removal tool is an excellent way to remove information about yourself online and try to purge yourself from the internet. I think it's a great tool more people should be using and it's definitely a step in the right direction. However, that said, there's plenty of other tools out there to use. Like I mentioned, you can use a VPN with ad blocking capabilities and I would recommend using an S tier VPN, which all have amazing ad blocking capabilities inside the applications, which you could find on vpntierlist.com. In addition, of course, you might want to use a password manager. I would recommend Bitwarden. Bitwarden is my recommended password manager, and it's completely free for the most part and an excellent way to secure your passwords online. There are also other ways too to become more anonymous and to purge yourself from the internet. So stay tuned on the channel and I might give you some more tips and tricks in the future. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you again very soon.